What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. So yeah, we are starting off in a weird way. This episode is being split in two because yeah, the original recording is like an hour and 42 minutes, so yeah, uh, this uh, I'll be starting off in a weird way here. So yeah, I'll cut it back now to the present. The next morning. Yeah, I think Morpeko is uh, Marnie's stand. Morning fence here. That friend of yours already went off to the challenge, uh, to challenge the next gym. Uh, Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. All right, uh, Bead gave us his, so we gotta read that too. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Got his lead card. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heals. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect for. You know, whatever's next in the gym challenge. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire, Kabu Chap, right? Why don't you uh, get over to Monosoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Ura ra 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 ra. Yeah. <laughs> it's a JoJo stand right there. All right, let's go and read uh, Bead and Kabu's uh, Bead. Uh, he spent some time living in an orphanage after his family ran into some trouble when he was young. Uh, I feel like... You think that's a, like a translation thing where like maybe his parents actually passed away? <laughs> that's something they like to do in, I think, the Yu-Gi-Oh! like anime. <laughs> um, he always had a difficult difficulty uh, getting along with others and would constantly get into fights. That is until one day Chairman Rose visited the facility. Rose gave Beat a Pokemon. Uh, I just lost where I was. Oh which uh, change beats life forever. He showed it. He showed talent as a trainer and threw himself into Pokemon battles, becoming stronger by the day. He has joined a gym challenge with an endorsement from the chairman himself, and Bead plans to prove that the chairman's faith was not misplaced. Yeah, good for you, man, but you're still kind of a douche. Um, but Kabu here, on the other hand, is a Pokemon trainer who was invited from the Hoenn region Ooh, that's cool. What do you think his Pokemon starter was? Uh, guessing it was uh, Blaziken. I feel like that would fit, right? <laughs> oh, not Blaziken. That's a that's really like third evolution or no, Torchic. <laughs> um, yeah, there were a few times where he was very close to becoming champion, but victory always seemed to elude him at the last moment. Because of this, he adopted a no holds bared approach to battling for a time, but even that did not bring the results he wanted. He even dropped to the minor division at one point, but after a fantastic battle with Leon, he regained faith in his own potential. His motto is to keep learning and training as long as he is alive. That sounds like he's gonna die soon. Like that last sentence. Oh, you're that challenger everyone's talking about. Oh wow, look at everyone here just... You know, directing me, making a path all the way here to Hop. Hey there, Hop. What's up? Slow moving, aren't you, Fence here? I kind of like slept too long, I guess. I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Fence here. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire too. Alright, time to challenge Kabu. Uh, Hop, any last words? Uh, you were on fire? Yeah. I bet. I think everyone was on fire. Uh, we don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made this his gym challenge so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. Yeah, I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change into your uniform first. Okay, and I am back. You may find the Fire Gym's mission a bit different from the others you face, and you go. A bit different. Well guys, here we go. Alright, yeah, I remember this. But like, you know, for me, I actually don't... Like, I know what a challenge is. But I do it the long way. <laughs> 
The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in tall grass, or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponent might do, and try to take the best action to rack up points. Thanks, Dan. Gym mission start. Alright, uh... So yeah, we got to defeat the Pokemon or catch them. And we want to make sure we can do it as fast as possible. Alright, yeah, I'll try to do what I can. Uh, we'll start out over here. Uh, study the situation and choose your opponents wisely based on it. Yeah, we got this Litwick. Is that what you're called? Yeah, we got a Litwick here. Klonoa, Sizzlepeed. You think I can just take out that Sizzlepeed first? It is a bug, right? Oh, it's not a very effective. Never mind. And I think Litwick is a ghost. Ooh, actually, I might be kind of stupid here. Because, um... Probably won't be doing too much damage. Okay, hold on. Made a mistake. Bolt on. You get in there. Fire spin. On oh, Litwick, okay. Cool. And not on Bolt on. But, you know, I got attacked. That fire spin though. You spark. Ooh, there we go. Critical hit. Yeah, we can't. Ooh, he's burnt. We can't use Klonoa for this. Um, at least not for Litwick here. Playing one point. Cool. Um, I mean, yeah, I might have to catch some of the other ones over here. Status conditions are the greatest. Get getting burned will land you in a real hot water. Let's see what this one is. Oh, Sizzlepeed. Yeah, I never really caught it because, you know, I never really did the, the catching stuff when it comes to this challenge because, you know, I, I, I don't know if that means that we keep it. Like, do we keep the Pokemon that we catch? I just don't want to fill up my, my box, you know? You spark. Ooh. Oh, we got the paralysis, though. Sand attack. Oh, on us. Shoot. Bug bite. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, gonna get Klonoa out, I guess. Go use a flame charge. Oh, flash fire. Shoot. Oh, it just boosted. I didn't even know that ability. Okay, you know what? What happens if we just throw a Pokeball? I think... I don't know. Will that paralysis help out? I just hope we can just catch it, like, right away. Oh, no. Sand attack. Oh, no. My Klonoa is going to keep on missing now. Flame wheel. And that's a land it. Okay, good. Going to do a quick attack. And we got a hit in. Will-O-Wisp. Doesn't affect me. And a flame wheel. On to land it. Alright, good job. Uh, can we catch it now? Oh boy. Yes. Alright, we got two points for that. I think we actually keep it. But yeah, we got Sizzlepeed, the radiator Pokemon. It wraps up prey with its heated body, cooking them in its coils. Once they're well done, it will ferociously nibble them down to the last morsel. Yeah, no nickname. Um, yeah, we'll just send it to the box. We got two points for that. And I guess we'll capture the Vulpix. Yeah, why not? Your target is a wild Pokemon. Don't concern yourself with other trainers. I mean, I'll try. I'm probably gonna re have to release these Pokemon. I just, you know, I don't feel like keeping them there. If All right, Nuzzle. To be safe. Oh wow, that does... Actually, some pretty good damage. Incinerate. Okay. Steam Engine. On Roly Coley. Speed Rose. A Smackdown. Oh, dang. You just stole, like, my thing. 
Oh my word, is Challenger Fancier really going to end this with a knot? No, I, I mean, I still got a chance, right? You spark. Just one more hit. Using bite. Gosh darn, can you stop <laughs> stealing my kills? Taking a lot longer than I expected. Okay, you spark. Ooh, so close. But that's fine. Um, because, you know, I'd rather just catch it. Ooh, no. Gosh darn. Walton's always going down. Okay, we'll just send out Noibat so he can get more XP. Okay, I think I'm about to get myself, like, two Sizzlepeeds. <laughs> this is how, like, I'm gonna win this. Alright, cool. Two Sizzlepeed, I mean, yeah. Not Sizzlepeed. Alright, congrats on another mission cleared. Clearing leader Kabu's gym like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Alright. Here we go, guys. It's time to face him, but once I, like, heal up my Pokemon. Alright, I'm ready. We're going in. I'm gonna fix up my hair. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? They don't usually start out on the same side with me here. They're usually going on the, the opposite side of where I would enter the, the, yeah, the stadium. It's about to say the gym, but yeah, this is a stadium. Not really much of a gym, you know. <laughs> Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent will also, is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Okay. Dude, I like, um... I kind of miss this where, you know, when it comes to gym battles, like the... Like the floor, it always matches up and looks cool. But yeah, Kabu challenges us. Nine Tails. He sends out, but for me, I'm gonna start out with throw. Alright. Ember. Music is kicking in. Okay. Maybe if you can do like a better move than Ember. I can do more damage, please. Oh, so close. Should I do a circle throw and maybe save Nine Tails for another Pokemon in case throw goes down? Oh no, wait, he's gonna go down anyway because. Yeah, the <laughs> circle throw does damage. Arcanine! Cool. I like how he's got um, Arcanine and Vol not Vulpix, uh, Nine Tails, yeah. And yeah, they're both from Kanto. And I feel like, you know, they kind of. They kind of match up in a way. For revenge. Flame Whale. Okay. Oh, we got Burn. But we'll use Revenge. Okay. Youch. <laughs> Always re use uh, your Revenge, man. Oh, he's down. Okay, gonna use Bolt on here. Gonna do like a Nuzzle. Because this Arcanine is uh really tearing us down oh wait doesn't the flame wheel like increase the speed too dang the bolton was faster unless maybe i missed something i don't know but yeah i'm gonna do a spark or uh i don't know maybe not i'm not sure because uh, i feel like maybe i want to do something else oh actually i yeah, do, do, do need to use spark Cause yeah, like I don't know if I was if I want to switch to my Klonoa. Cause for the final battle, like I want to go all out with the fire types. You know, me and him, fire type v fire. Fight fire with fire. Yeah, he's raising the agility, but you know it doesn't really 
I feel like it doesn't really help. Uh, I think this would be a good time actually to swap out Klonoa here. That we can do like Dynamax on both sides. I think that will be pretty awesome. Tell me he can't move. Nope, he's gonna move. It's not that much damage though, so... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we can do a double kick. He is paralyzed. Nice. Cool. Now we can do do like a... Yeah, we can both do a Dynamax fire type battle. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There still must be something uh, I missed at the end. <laughs> Alright, send a Scorch. That's the evolution of... Uh, What's his name? And that's the evolution of Sizzlepeed. Sizzlepeed. Looks like I'm going first. Alright, Klonoa. Show them the true power of fire. Nice. Burn bright, Sinus Scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and your form. Dude, look at that serious face of his. And man, his eyes, man, it just lights up like that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, look at that Sinus Scorch. Doesn't look too big, though. Oh, wait, shoot! Oh no, I can't do a fire battle. <laughs> He's got that stupid ability from earlier that I totally forgot about. But you know what, I think that's fine. Uh, my fighting attack should be good, right? Let's see. Nope, it doesn't do much. Oh, I thought it would. Yeah, this is not good, guys. Flames always burn upwards, so we'll always go up higher. G-Max and Inferno. Alright, yeah, he can do the G-Max move now. Because, yeah, Santa Scorch here. That's a Gigantamax Santa Scorch. Dang, look at that. Konoa is down. Ooh, boy. A Dottler? I feel like you should go out and maybe put some... Some shields. And then maybe I'll try to heal up some of the other Pokemon. Um, I don't know. I think special attack? I forgot what moves he used. Yeah, I feel like that's a special attack, right? Yep. I thought maybe we would go first, but we did not. Dang it, Dottler. <laughs> Alright, Bolton. Just imagine this is my first battle that like, I lose on. Yeah, that'll be interesting, right? People say Kabu's challenge was difficult. And you know, they're not they're not lying. But let me go use some revives on my other Pokemon here. Like throw. And maybe Konoa. Ooh, that's big damage. Dang. But I think I should try to get a nuzzle on before Bolton goes down. Okay, good. Dang, Santa Scorch. And you know, it really sucks too. Dang, Diggersby would have been a perfect Pokemon for this battle. Okay, gonna send out Toxel. I'm just gonna keep on reviving my Pokemon. Like the ones that I, you know, just wanna keep on using. Alright, it's gonna try to revive uh, Boltund. Because I feel like he's a good Pokemon. Yeah, I kind of like overhype myself with. Uh, with, what, is it, what is his name? Uh, Kanoa. I thought maybe he can do something, but no. Alright, Noibat. You're going in. I mean, can you use our Supersonic? You think that would be a good... Like a good move? Just to confuse him? Avoided the attack. Shoot. Use his Coil. What does that do? Attack rises and defense rises. Okay, a lot of things just ri like rise because of that. But Supersonic, you know, now he's paralyzed and confused. 
that maybe I can do a double team a lot. Oh, Flame Wheels still got him. Ooh. Yeah, this, I might have to do this again. <laughs> Alright, Boltund. We're going in. Ooh, that doesn't do much. Come on, be confused. Hurt yourself. Gosh darn it. Ooh. Yeah, Bolton is down. Alright, throw. You're going out. Um, man. And yeah, fighting moves doesn't do good against him, right? I mean, I might have to do another revive, but this time maybe a max revive. Gonna use it on Bolton. Snap out of confusion. Dude, aren't you paralyzed? Why aren't you showing your status thing? Oh man. Okay, Bolton, you're the last hope here. Most likely gonna have to battle him again. Cause I really I really did mess up with Kanoa. That like stupid ability of his. Like I did not expect that. Like at all. Okay. Flame wheel. Please don't like one KO. Oh, he's gonna do it, yeah. Wow, that's my first loss, guys. Cool. Yep, that was uh, really disappointing. Um, do I gotta do that whole gym challenge again? I've like never lost before. <laughs> you see, you know, this one, this is a lot easier on my other account because, you know, I did use uh, a water type, Inteleon. And I don't really have any Pokemon here that would, you know, help us out. Okay, good. So we, we can just keep on going back here. We don't have to, um... Do that whole challenge again. Oh, is this gonna be repeating the same cutscene again? Okay. Alright, this time uh, we can definitely do it. I am not going to use Knoa for last. This time he'll be first. Because I know he's gonna be useless. Like, against Scorch at the end. So, yeah, we'll... We'll just make the most out of him right now. It's gonna attack. Double kick. Ooh, that's not a lot of damage. Dang, Konoa. Not really doing much. This must be... This might be, like, his weakest gym. I can definitely see this being his... The weakest gym that... She's partaken in. Quick attack. Double kick. Okay. She's about to go down and probably this next hit. This Arcanine though is coming up. Alright, good. Took down that Nine Tails. And now, yeah, Kanoa's gonna level up. With a Noibat. An Arcanine. Okay. Gonna go down with the intimidation. Dang, that means double kick is not gonna be good, huh? Oh well. We'll just keep on using it. Wow, that is so little damage. I feel like. Yeah, maybe throw might be good for Arcanine here. I think I'll be using him next. It's gonna use a bite. It's gonna make me flinch. Nope. Use more of that double kick. Ooh, Konoa. This is not your moment. Yeah, maybe in the future gems, she'll be able to do more, but because of that Sand and Scorch ability, really uh, ruined uh, Konoa's, like, mojo and stuff. But yeah, throw. We're going up next. I'm going to try to save Bolton for last against uh, Santa Scorch. Oh yeah, let's try to, you know, make the most out of this. Go and use Revenge. Flame Wheel. Okay. Revenge. Nice. You think uh, Circle Throw? Nah. Revenge. Just to be safe. 
on the safe side. Okay. And then maybe we can do uh, that blocking move that Throw has. I think he has a block move. And I think that can definitely help out. Oh, bulk up. Forget a no move. Yeah, the wide guard. I think maybe that'll be good. But bulk up. It'll raise both attack and defense. That actually sounds pretty good. I'm gonna use that on the focus energy there. Cool. Wants to learn charm. Really, Bolton partially lowers the attack. That sounds pretty good. I think um, maybe Roar might be good to get rid of. Because then we can just keep on lowering the Send a Scorch attack at the end. There still must be a path of victory. That's what he said at the end. Alright, Send a Scorch. Time for that rematch. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Like, I don't know, should I go for bulk up or wide guard? I mean, I want to see how much wide guard can do. See how much that can protect. Oh boy. Yeah, Kabu with this G Max Set of Scorch. It's not good business for me. Come on, can I go first? Yes, wide guard. This better like protect me like pretty good. Like I think he can still damage me. But, like, I just take less damage, pretty much. I want to try to stall. Try to stall this Santa Scorch. Special attack. Like, fell. Try to use up his G-Max turns. It's my new strategy, guys. Oh, boy. He's going to use his, um... Centerferno. Oh, okay. Looks like, uh, thought maybe we can just wear him out. Alright, Boltund, you're our last hope. See what you can do. Go ahead and do your G Max thing. Because I feel like you're gonna be the main guy that can actually do damage. There we go. Go out there, dude. Alright, it's a bolt hunt. Dang, he's so small. <laughs> that's supposed to be a G Max, too, right? Dang, that's. There we go. We finally got some big damage going on. I really like that. And dude, that Senna Scorch is going to become smaller next turn. Ooh, that's also big damage too, but... Nah, we can finish him off next turn. It's going to have lower defense. And I still got my G-Max form. Or I guess not G-Max. It's a... Uh, Dynamax. Nice! That's how we do it, guys. Kind of not the way I wanted to, you know, have it go. But you know, it's something. We gotta do something to finish this and not use fire moves. Alright, Kabu. You're done for. Great Pokemon and great and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge. And yet you defeated me. Yeah, I lost once. You're an actual roadblock in this let's play. <laughs> like for once. Clearly your talents surpass my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Can I shake hands now? No. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. And I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you your you a fire badge as a proof that you defeated me. 
going to shake hands on this. Cool. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala Regions culture. And it's young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Yep, we did it guys. Hop, what do you think of my first loss and victory <laughs> against Kabu? Uh, Fence here. I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Raboot would be the ones. But still, I mean Raboot... <laughs> Raboot got knocked out. He didn't. She didn't really do much. Uh, that ha match had me right at the edge of my seat. Really wish Raboot would do something with that match. Challenger Fence here. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Will-O-Wisp. Cool. Yeah, that just gives them burn. And take one of our uniforms. It is the same design as Kabu wears himself. Or himself wears. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that awaits you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Well, before like we do that, I think, you know, that will definitely be it for this episode. Been recording for way too long. Hop, any last words? I'm just gonna go. Okay. Is he gonna teleport me there? Oh no, I just wanna go to the Pokemon Center, man. <laughs> Hurry up, fence here. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, and I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to gather three gym badges and they just give up on a gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. That's nice. Whew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Fence here, hop. Congratula congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We would like to we'd like to get together to see them off as a way to of showing our support. That's nice. Like they went all the way from Hullberry and Turfield just to see us off. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, fancier. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning, and we've got to if we want to face off in the gym, in the uh, challenge or challenge champion cup. After all, yeah, I cannot read in this episode. <laughs> Been recording for too long now. Come on, fence here. Let's head for Hammerlock. Dang, look how scary it looks out here. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Fence here, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? Yep, it's over there. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, you should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. 
I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. <laughs> Rubbish. More like you don't, you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine. I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know that you challenged Fence here to battle in Gallarmine number 2 and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there is no way that you're beating me. All this prattle about Fence here and the champion or, and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later, Fence here. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Yeah, I'll go there next time, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode here. Man, I've been recording for a long time now. I thought maybe that I can, um, you know, deal with Kabu pretty fast. Or not fast, like, you know, within under one hour. Because, yeah, that's a bit what, what it's been like for the past gym leaders, but no, it definitely took some time. Right now, the recording is like an hour and 42 minutes. So I might just, uh, you know, split this episode here in two. So if you don't, if you didn't notice me like greeting at the beginning, then that's why. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess maybe I'll do it now, like you know, in case for future uses. All right. So with that uh, done, yeah, I just did it a while ago. Um, I do want to do some Poke jobs because yeah, I got some Pokemon here. Uh. Yeah, all this stuff. Which one will be the toughest? Help with the cooking. Must be good with fire. I think I got a sizzlepeed, right? <laughs> we got two. Yeah, select all these guys. I'll just bring all of them to the ride. Just so they can at least do something. Am I done? Yeah. Yeah, go. Do stuff. Send Pokemon. How long? The whole day. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was um, it in this multi-part episode. We'll see him in, we'll see these Pokemon in 24 hours. And yeah, uh, next time we'll be... I guess maybe, should I spend some time in the wild area? Alright, yeah, there, I think I'll spend some time in the wild area to catch one Pokemon that I want. And then we'll move on to Hammerlock. But yeah, anyway guys, um, yeah, I really want to take a break now. <laughs> like I said, like an hour and 44 minutes now of this recording without any breaks. But yeah, that's it for now. That's game.